Got a new project that I'm about to start. Uh, this right here is my Lincoln Powercraft TIG 201 ACDC. I bought it a couple of years ago. Uh, I'm not really a good TIG welder as such. Uh, I do like welding, um, but I wanted to uh, take my welding to the next level and, and learn TIG. Um, so yeah, when I, when I bought this, I, I bought the smallest argon gas bottle you could buy and one week of practicing I used all the gas and um, I didn't have any welding projects to do up until now so uh, it, it just sat unused. Now I've got a proper sized gas bottle and uh, yeah it's time to time to lay some beads. One thing I didn't get with this welder is, is a uh, foot control so you know I've been trying to practice using just the uh, on off switch um, and, and using the pulse settings, but uh, I, I sort of want a, a foot pedal as well to, to control amps via the foot. So yeah, I did some, did some looking around and uh, there is a particular place in Adelaide that uh, sells the foot control for 300 bucks. I thought, whew, um, I really want to spend that sort of money, but I am keen to to use some ingenuity and 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 adapt something to make it work. First, I had to start with uh, sourcing the plug. Um, so this is a I think they called it a two shell type plug for for Lincoln or for this particular model. It's a flat blade, five pin. Um, I can find them on eBay, especially in the UK and the States, but with uh, the whole coronavirus and all that sort of thing, I th thought uh, I need to find one local. Um, there is, a, I did find one for 50 bucks and I thought, well, there's no real point, you know, spending uh, $50 on a plug, then the, then the cable, uh, then a, then a foot pedal, I might as well just go, just to, just pay the 300 bucks and, and buy one. Um, but luckily there was a, there is a welding supply store in Adelaide that, that had one lying around um, and that was $21. So yeah, grab that. This is the pedal I bought second hand. It only cost me 35 bucks. It's a Yamaha FC7, uh, I think it, adjusts volume for a keyboard or something or it could be adapted to do whatever you want it to do um yeah it's got a nice rubber top it's quite solid made out of metal and plastic um and yeah it's got a good range of movement all right let's open this up okay so Looks like that lever there pushes down on this nylon lever, which I assume is being driven by the potentiometer, or it, it moves the potentiometer. Uh, yep. So it's a 50k. Um, I know my machine needs a 10k potentiometer, so we'll put one of those in. I bought myself five meters worth of trailer cable, which is five cores. the the plug via the the drawing on the on the user manual of my welder let's get this old pot off so we can replace it with the new one but first the shaft is a bit a uh, bit shorter than than the new one so Time to cut it. All 
All right, just did a rough cut. Now I'm just gonna clean the edges off. Okay, so a bit of a tickle up there with the uh, multi-tool. Beautiful. All right, now to solder these wires onto the corresponding tabs there, terminals. Okay, I'm no solderer. So, please don't hate on me too much. You've also noticed that I have wired up a micro switch. Um, I'm going to show you where I will mount that. Um, I've got it wired so it's on, in a normally normally closed position. So um, while it's depressed, uh, the the machine won't start, and while it's released, it'll start the arc. So I've done it that way because of the, the location of the, the pedal at its rest uh, position. Cool, cool, cool. Thinking of having the switch here. put it together and let's give it a test before it's uh, complete.
So I didn't need to plug the item in and, and test it on the machine to realize I, have, I already have a problem. Um, as you can see, I've, I've done some modifications here. Uh, the, the trouble I was finding with the pot is it was already at about uh, a third of a turn and once fully depressed, um, I was at about three, three quarters of a turn. So I wasn't getting uh, the, the lower setting or even max setting. So what I had to do was modify the, the nylon um, lever uh, and modify, excuse the world, it's, it's ugly, but it works. Um, it, it is, yeah, 10 p.m. at night at the moment. Uh, I, this sort of uh, catch here, I extended it so it roll on, roll on the top part of uh, the lever, um, fed the spring in so it sits in there a bit more firmly. Um, so now when I, when it's at full extension, uh, it should be close to zero. I don't, I don't, I don't mind if it's not quiet, but at full depression, sorry, see that that's all the, that that's max so that should work so I'll put this back together and we'll go to the machine and we'll see see how she goes so here we are my welder so I've got it set on 200 amps and once I depress this that micro switch in the back will disengage uh, and the circuit will be on um, and then we should see well, hopefully about 80 amps and then I can crank it all the way up to 190 something so okay we'll try that again very slowly this time Okay, so that's okay. We'll, we'll go down to a hundred. Um, hopefully, hopefully because I've set the max to a hundred, once I initiate the pedal, it's not eighty, and it's a bit lower, lower than that. Um, and then, yeah, it's a, yeah. Hopefully, it's a gradual scale rather than you know starting off at. 80 amps and, and uh, going up. Okay, so it started at 40 and maxed out at 97. So I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'll just uh, turn this off. I'll just um, reroute the wires, clean it all up a bit, make it a bit neater and nicer, and um, yeah, this will be this will be in service. So I'd call that a success. Uh, all in cost wise, I bought the pedal for $35. The, um, the pot and the switch uh, was six bucks. Uh, $20 for the trailer cable. So, you know, I needed a cable um, that can withstand a reasonable amount of amps. Uh, and with five cores and a trailer cable was ideal for that and it's nice and long um, pretty much as long as my TIG torch so you know if, if I need to have the welder further away then I can have the pedal and the torch within you know reasonable distance from each other so um, and 21 for the, the special plug so all in 80 bucks um, I'm pretty happy with that, better than spending 300 bucks, plus it gave me some uh, some some more experience with, uh, you know, soldering and uh, potentiometers and micro switches and stuff like that, which I've never really had to play with before. Um, 
and and yeah it was a it was a successful little project thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and we'll catch you around